too badly because Solo just continues to harass using that Thunderstrike. Axe has come through again, and he's a big tanky boy, but you start to get these stacks up. He's kind of dodging back. Do you have the Decay Ana, though? Making his way over, sensing blood in the water. We'll go for the waveform. We'll go pop the fairy fire, but end of the day, there it is. There's our first blood. Yeah, that was a lot of hard work and preparation there by Whitemon, spamming for step. And with the next rune spawn, we should see rotations coming in from mid laners. He's gonna go grab himself a bounty rune, fill up the bottle. Might actually run over to Zephyr. See, he's just wandering through. Yep, there it is, the step. Oh, Lace a needed that off kill. As Lace, yeah, absolutely needed. It does end up getting the response kill, but get the drag. Topson's here. Sweden Strong doing what he can to try to assist, but he's only level four. So Ana gets a kill on Solo. My goodness. He Everyone just realizing it's time to go. Yeah, with power treads, he was just right. These creeps a little bit closer to his tower. Trade a bit back and forth over with no one in Topson. Yeah, gets a haste rune. That's a good one for Void Spirits. This is what they needed to start enabling him. He's gonna go for the dive on Topson. They'll end up using the Dream Coil, but he just gets dragged right back in. Very nicely played by no one, getting a solo kill. And the first Dream Coil, not gonna work out for the side of T1. That's such a big outplay. He feels oh, Lace, really good. Lace? Lace is dead. Rest in pepperonis. Yeah, solo and getting things body aren't looking good for Solo here. either. Yeah, I was about to say, he got the glimpse off over on Ana, but I think they're absolutely fine diving him. White Mon's got a decent amount of health, 980 total max. So they're going to chase him down the corner. The teleport is coming in, but it might have just been a little too late. All right, now, no one, he does manage to go grab himself up White Mon. Sure would love to have grabbed Ana, but not going to be the case. Just as the bottom lane, they do their own rotation. They find a kill on Sweden Strong. BT yeah. just teleporting out. He says, yep, I don't want to be here anymore. See ya. Now we're starting to see that maximum efficiency. What do you think? It's stronger for that. The thing is, though, that T1 are scaling slightly better into late game just by having more fling. Uh, I think Lina is great. Oh, Bench is getting caught out. Oh, is that? Goes for the swap, but can't outrun no one. As Sweden Strong following up with the battery assault. That's a dead cuckoo and over in the mid lane. They go and use the Dream Coil over on Solo. So just kills happening all over the map right now. Yeah, he stays a little bit too far up. He's trying to get levels. He's only level 3 on Disruptor, so if he wanted to be mid and try and leech some experience, because it's minute 10 and he's level 3, this is a big problem for him. He needs to get that ulti early so they can get some kills. Even using the Tome, he's only level 5 flat. Still has to farm the full next level to level 6. Except for going a bit deep here, wanting to chase after V2. Sweden Strong using the Cogs. Gonna try to use the Soul Ripper Tower. We'll finish off. And it's not looking great here for this clockwork as Lena just sitting back, clicking down this tombstone. Solo also joining in though, could opt to go for a glimpse play if he's able to. In fact, yes, he finds himself a candidate, but not going to be able to quite finish it up and connect Zephyr rolling forward over onto no one. But this is not looking good for him because they'll still be able to get the kill. And only Topson, after that whole exchange, is going to be standing on the side of T1. It's a tough hero to try and roll. Sorry, they're probably sweeping up towards me. They just took the mid tower. I'm just gonna leave. I'm gonna go down to the buy angle. This is pretty funny to me how long they've been able to just sit and chill with Vengeful Bottom. So we see a nice brawl here. Uh -oh. Yeah. Tanky boy versus tanky boy. Hookshot though. Swap coming in from Cuckoo, but needs to be careful. Alright, the follow up from Ana. Make sure that they get that kill. End up still losing Zephyr as no one zips in and then zips out as fast as he can. Yeah, it feels like Navi are. Yeah, no one in this game has his Yule Scepter uh, complete as well. Nice tool to protect yourself against the puck. Pretty good overall here as well. Oh, there's a big scan. They realize there are people coming. See the hook shot immediately into the static storm. They're going to just try to blow up Thompson and they'll be able to find it. White Mon popping off with that Flesh Golem. It's going to try chasing after Sweet Strong. They get the swap off, so it looks like this poor little clock is going to just get absolutely run over by Cuckoo and White Mon. Yeah, one kill for, for Cuckoo. Finally starting to join in for the fights here. Focus on going to be Lace, just having his movements around the map put the pressure down, or is there someone in particular that you feel like we should be watching? At this point, I think it's about no one and what moves he can make, but we have a little bit of a fight here with Zephyr. Going in, finding Soul. A little glimpse. A little bit of a glimpse back. So it's just Zephyr versus Solo. It's still going to end up in a kill. 
And Sweden Strong does manage to snap up the Invis rune away from Topson. That T1 are feeling very confident to take the 4v5. There's the Dream Coil coming into play. No one getting caught out over here on the side. He's just getting stun locked. It's not looking great. They go and they use the Laguna Blade. They do a lot of damage though on this Lina. They'll be able to take down Kuka. They take down Thompson. Sweet and Strong will eventually fall. White Mon though, they'll use the Roar Triple Kill now for V2. He's just oh allowed to sit so far back. Oh my god. The power of the safe lane Lina. And they bring back got, the Oh rampage. my god, there it is! Tech. It's a notice that they're in the pit, but they are making their way over now. So they saw that D ward. They have a general idea. They're too late. Moving himself forward. There's going to be the glimpse. They know he's got the vision. And there it is. There's an Aegis now for V2. Hookshot coming in over onto Thompson. Can they lock him down for long enough, though, is the question. The roar onto the back lines, over onto Cuckoo. They're going to immediately lose Lee and Song, but they'll be able to put out some more damage. As Zephyr's next to fall, Thompson trying to run away. Not going to be able to quite get their hands on this puck, but they do manage to get their hands on Kuka, the loose solo, and now V-Tune, that is of course going to be the Aegis, he's coming back up again, buyback now from Solo, they want to protect over on the side, this throw back with the swap into the LSA though, can they finish off, Tana just goes away for him, he's going to be able to survive this, another glimpse back though, as this disruptor does not want to get chased after, but he is going to end up falling after he bought back. A beautiful fight here for the side of T1. They'll be able to easily take this tier one. Belonging to T1, so they're really on the back foot now. That and now they don't have a static storm to try to help protect this tier two. And that is, uh, that's a big deal, you know. That's also their catch. Jump forward, swap, coming into play. They'll finish off the tower. Do have that uh, Laguna Blade, though, trying to get the clicks off over onto Cuckoo, and that is going to be the death, but he's coming right back up again because he does have the axe. Jump, oh, look at these cogs over here in the corner. They're holding just everyone in place, but they guess, again, with that snowball, three dead on the side of Navi. This is looking real spooky right now. That was just not the decision going in there by v -Tune. Trying to kill the Vengeful, even if you get the burst on her, she's going to swap you when she dies, because she will come back and have spells ready. That was never going to work out in a good way. And now she's still around, there still able to fight. Oh, okay. Lace was there. Not there anymore. They drop a Static Storm, which is nice, but going to need a little bit more damage, because look at these guys. They don't care. Oh, what all these random names are. Oh, for sure, for sure, you know, that's very, very important. For those of you that haven't been studying up on your oh, neutral cool. item lore, oh, the swap immediately over to no one, he's gonna try to assimilate away. Looks like he's gonna have to come into play. So, all right, Sweden Strong, they're going for the cogging over to Ana, but that's a very scary perspective. Are you just trapped in there with Ana? He's fine with it. Topson going forward, uses the Dream Coil. Trying to just do the damage over on the side, but Ana's beyond godlike. He just jumps in, gets Kellen Solo, following up over onto V-Tune. He manages to go and drag the LSA. They'll end up losing Zephyr. Now Ana, he is silenced. He's got to be a little bit careful. So he'll use the whip, try to run out, get the roar off over onto Topson. <laughs> White Mon doing whatever he can to try to keep him alive, but they just have too much damage over onto V-Tune. They just extended perhaps a little bit too much on the side of T1. I love how it's never the person's fault, you know. The, the guy who's getting So they're sitting around trying to find a kill, but I think they're... Better to get out right now. A lot of people in the area. We'll say Lace is doing a great job. Oh, okay. As Thompson immediately finds him. He's gonna try to punish. No one with the follow-up. Drops the remnant. White Mon trying to get over there, trying to keep him alive, but it's just a little bit too far away from the rest of the team. Not gonna be able to go and cancel out the TP of no one, but they do manage to finally remove Lace. And that was what I was gonna say, is I was gonna say Lace is doing a great job of just being absolutely annoying, staying in that top be back and join but the issue is you gotta win a fight without your beastmaster you can't really do that so they're trying to smoke around get a good position they sold the items look at disruptor he sold everything oh he has all the agonims. oh my god he wants this one ulti is he gonna be able to find it though all right jump in over onto white man over on the back lines ever popping that bkb he doesn't even catch anyone in the ulti oh no, no! it's a disaster cuckoo is gonna end up cleaning up v2 oh my god Absolute disaster for the side of Navi. Yeah, they're scrambling now, but looks like Anna, there's nothing that can really stop him. He has Aegis, he has BKB, Manta, Lincolns, everything is ready. They now respawn with Beastmaster, but his team is gone. It was so much gamble of like having that early axe. Okay, the swap opening over onto V2, and he's just dead. Dead for 80 something seconds. It. The GG gets called. My god, T1 striking back with a total aggression and just calculation in this game number two.
I mean, I like the attempt there, selling everything to get the uh, Agadems, hoping for maybe I can get a big ulti and we can kill them, but it didn't work out. It feels like T1, they struggled a lot in the first game, but this looked like once they have the sense of security that they can go early game, late game, they're strong throughout the entirety of the game. They don't have a draft that hinges entirely on one face. It's much